Decided today to record this in the park. It's a beautiful day, and uh, you know you're gonna make the most of it. Hey guys, today I'm gonna go over uh, cybersecurity engineer position descriptions and requirements. Uh, this list is gathered from a couple of different uh, PDs that I've come across recently. There's one. One was from an Australian company, two from US companies, and one was a uh, Singaporean government. I'm just going to read straight through it here, so just bear with me and I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit at the end. So, Position description requirements. Provide operational support for network and endpoint based security systems and support for project security requirements as instructed by management. <laughs> Some random kid just keeps running up to me. So random. Anyway, okay next one. Ensure timely accurate and detailed recording of operational work and project tasks carried out within security systems. Fair enough. Reconcile security license usage agreements and costs for regular usage and special requirements. Monitor the performance of the company's name, security systems and identify areas to be acted upon in a proactive manner. Yeah, fair enough. Next up, ensure all security software update procedures are adhered to. Yep. Provide disaster recovery procedures and participate in testing as required by the manager of IT security and ICT manager disaster recovery. That one, I'm just going to talk about that quickly, is it's pretty broad. Um, usually in larger or government jobs, you will have um, a full disaster recovery dude like his his main job is disaster recovery so he's going to be looking after that um, I think that point must have been taken from a smaller company uh, or a non-government entity so we'll move on from that one uh, conduct capacity planning for security infrastructure um, as an engineer yeah maybe I guess they probably just threw it in there just in case but fair enough provide and or install security equipment Definitely, that is almost your entire job for the, at least the first six months of working. Ensure equipment database is kept up to date with all device assets. Pretty important. Um, keeping an up to date asset registry is, um, yeah, it's pretty important. You kind of need to have to be, you have to be on, on the ball with that. Um, otherwise, you'll have stuff going out of warranty or out of service and you may not know and then you call them you call the vendor up to replace a firewall or something super basic it's already out of maintenance and you're stuffed very important I've had to move uh, there's too many people around me <laughs> okay so just go back to my list here so what was I up to uh, device assets here yeah, maintain currency in information technology for example network communications security issues and best practices okay um, yeah fair enough provide on-call 24-hour support for the company as instructed by technology management this is pretty common across uh, basically every single place I've ever worked 24-hour um, on-call is common in uh, across IT uh, except for some programming and um, yeah, you, you'll get used to it. It's usually on a schedule, so they'll do like, you go on call for the weekend and you get the Monday off or the Tuesday off or whatever it is, and, uh, or they just pay you overtime, depends. Next one, uh, maintain all work documentation for security systems used within the company. Yep, uh, you're gonna get really good at documentation um, if you're not already. Manage, develop, update, and maintain support processes, procedures, and policies. Yeah, you're pretty much writing those to begin with, especially if you're going in cold and it's, um, you know, you're the first security engineer that the company's ever had. You're going to be writing a lot of that information from scratch. 
and keeping it updated for as long as you work there. Uh, ensure all IT security infrastructure has adequate levels of documented disaster recovery as per agreed business requirements. Again, in a larger place, you wouldn't really see this as a, a line item. You would, there'd be a disaster recovery person doing that job. Um, smaller ones, yeah, you're gonna have to write that into your documentation. Uh, maintain system documentation, including equipment registers. It's pretty much the same as the asset. Uh, asset management thing, but slightly different. Alrighty, these are the um, the requirements of skill for the yeah, yeah, majority of security engineer roles. So, let's start off. Minimum of a diploma relating to the information technology field or other qualifications or experience considered acceptable. So, that one is a little bit loose because it's it's basically saying we want you to have a diploma but if you don't and have experience instead well that's just as good um, alternatively if you have certifications in security that would be ideal so you don't really need a degree to to do this job pretty much every single one that I came across was asking for a CompTIA uh, network plus they they all required that as a minimum uh, minimum three years of relevant IT experience now what they mean by that is usually as a security engineer they're going to be asking you for uh, network engineer experience or systems administrator experience usually that's that's how the progress goes into a security engineer the next question pretty much confirms what i just said so sound understanding of networking principles and protocols yeah you need to know experience with at least three of the following technologies checkpoint firewalls, endpoint protection, email filtering solutions, Palo Alto firewalls, uh, web filtering solutions, vulnerability management, intrusion protection and detection, public key infrastructures, and some basic Cisco networking. So you need to have at least three of those under your belt. Um, it depends on what firewall brand they use, but most of the next generation firewalls like the Palo Altos and the uh, checkpoints, are they're much of a muchness. You just need to find your way around. It's also pretty important to remember to, uh, when you are going to an interview, um, while you have this information already, it's good to bring your best personality along because that seems to um, really excel you above and beyond the, the other people going for an interview. A lot of the time, um, you know, people are quite introvert in their uh, inter interviews, uh, from what I've seen anyway. And um, yeah, having a bit of personality about yourself is, um, it's gonna help you, so step up on that. So that's my uh, security engineer position description and requirements. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share it to everyone you know who's interested in cybersecurity. Thanks. Thank you.